One government department that touches the lives of every New Zealander and every New Zealand business is Inland Revenue. Most small business people wouldn't naturally think of Inland Revenue as a partner, but over the past few years, the department has sought to change that. Inland Revenue started industry partnership in 2002 and the main aim of industry partnership was to try and influence those businesses that were within a cash or hidden economy. My name is Katie Collins and I'm from Inland Revenue. As an organisation, we didn't think that we were effectively targeting those that were operating in the cash economy. So we needed to look for a way to lift our productivity and resources and impact in dealing with people that were doing cash jobs. The main aim was about encouraging compliance um, for those businesses. And looking to create a more level playing field for business. The industries that we were looking at to start with were the electrical, the plumbing, the painting, the hairdressing, the taxis and the mechanical industries. So if an association had regular seminars and meetings, we asked if our staff could attend those. So it became a more effective use of our resource to have staff deal one-to-many rather than one-to-one. -one. It was about building trust with those industries and making sure that we could, um, I suppose, connect with them to encourage their compliance. What was really important for us at the beginning was about making sure that we got the right staff in. Staff that understood that it was about encouragement, that it wasn't about going straight to enforcement, and it was about finding, uh, I suppose, a unique blend of skills for staff to be able to meet that criteria for us. Traditionally, tax compliance has been thought of as something that is very much the taxpayer's obligation. Inland Revenue made the rules, it was up to businesses to know about them and comply. The new project took a different approach. Well, today I'm off to visit the local hairdresser to do some networking and basically just to see if there's any issues and to talk about some of our products and services. Hi, hi. I'm Pip McCartney from Inland Revenue. One of the, the key focus for industry partnership, it was about getting out there and encouraging the right sorts of behaviours. So it wasn't about going straight into enforcement. It was about us taking an approach of building relationships with them and it was about establishing some trust between Inland Revenue and those industries. They saw an important opportunity for them to level the playing field. They were very aware that often good businesses were being disadvantaged by bad practices by other people outside their associations. So that was a real win-win for them to work with us. The project has led to culture shifts. It's taken us from what was traditionally a rather siloed approach, thinking just about one little piece of our business, to thinking far more widely. And it's moved now to a culture which says that if we engage with and understand our customers a little bit better, we're likely to get a different outcome in terms of the levels that they want to interact with the New Zealand revenue system. One of the things that came out of this very strongly for me as a manager was the engagement levels that our staff had. And I think they felt really fulfilled in the role that they were doing. And I think that's one of the really huge spin-offs from this whole project. Well, I think it's, it's a positive thing. Like, we didn't even know that they offered that sort of service. Uh, especially when you start it up, you sort of want as much help as assistance as, as you can. I just recently got all my GST information and I was totally overwhelmed. But coming in today and Heather's given me a lot of advice and said I can call her and she'll sit and talk me through everything, which I didn't, I didn't know that was an option. Uh, staff were basically encouraged to innovate, to think of ideas and come up with ways which would improve compliance. And to have influence over how work was done. And for management, that was a, a change in the way that they dealt with their staff because a lot of the ideas were being generated from the ground up. From a management perspective, that was quite different to the way we normally work, and that involved having a lot of trust with our staff to ensure that they could do what they needed to do. I think one of the key things which made the project successful was that it was about flexibility right from the start. There was no one way of working with any particular industry and no one prepared or said that they had the right answers. Staff were basically encouraged to innovate, to think of ideas and come up with ways which would improve compliance. Um, and I think it's fair to say at the beginning there was a bit of hit and miss there. We had our field teams all going off and trying different things which we had quite happily said they could do, but at that point we needed to stop and say which ones were working, which ones weren't working, and then pick 
the best and move forward with those. We eventually hit on a series of tactics which worked really well. It was very much about finding new ways of working that might have been trialled in isolation but were never generalised or sold back into the business. What we found was that when we were dealing with customers that had some different or more complex issues, that we needed to get other members from within Inland Revenue involved. An employer might have employees who have child support matters or student loans, so it was about encouraging our staff to realise the holistic value of that business. And that was really important to make sure that we could give a complete service to our customers. So that we can understand what their needs are, what might make it easier for them to be actively engaged with the New Zealand revenue system. One of the ways that we found we became more effective was to recognise the value of the different communication channels our partner and associations had. So we were able to use websites and journals to get our messages out to association members. Providing them with information that was specific for the industry and it made it much easier for them to comply with the things that we needed them to do. Industry partnership, in an avenue's perspective, has been hugely successful. It sounds like a softer approach, but it did deliver hard results in terms of productivity, so that was about improved compliance from the department's perspective, but I think importantly it was about a good outcome for the taxpayers. In 2005, industry partnership received the ultimate accolade from senior management. It was discontinued as a project and adopted as business as usual across the entire department. I believe it has fundamentally changed the way that we do our business. Every customer in New Zealand has someone in Indian Revenue that is thinking about how we can help them to voluntarily comply, how we can minimise their compliance costs, or how they can get easy access to those things that they're entitled to. Our advisory staff are much more flexible now about the way they deal with our customers, and it's just fantastic that we have this organisational approach to the, to the way we interact with, with our customers as a whole. The previous way the IRD were interacting with business wasn't working, and uh, therefore they had to uh, look at other ways. Previously the impression the painting industry anyway was that inland revenue were not people you'd want to be involved with at all, and the industry partnership has certainly turned this perception around.